Well, hello and welcome, people of the internet, to another adventure. Today we're checking out Tower Factory, or I should say, you are checking out Tower Factory for the first time for me. This is going to be my second playthrough, uh, because we had some technical issues with the first recording. Um, so, my first couple runs ended up in the, the trash bin. Um, but, regardless, this is a game, or this is a demo at least, uh, that I was going to be doing another run of anyway. Uh, I did want to play some more of this game. So I had already planned on doing another video. So we're basically just going to uh, kind of walk you guys through what I know about this game to start. Um, so this is a tower defense ca um, city building. There's a little bit of auto, not so much auto clicking, but, you know, we do a little bit of clicking here. Um, roguelike. So there are a whole bunch of categories all packed together into one uh, very engaging, very fun tower defense game. None of resources. Gotcha. We need to go ahead and chop down some more trees. Um, so the first time last night when I was playing this for the first time, one of the things that I completely forgot while I was playing... I completely forgot that this was a roguelike. So I did three runs of the first level. I did the tutorial and then I played three runs and I was getting smoked. And I was like, what am I doing? There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong. What am I missing? Yeah, I, I was missing I was missing something very big uh, that this is a roguelike. And because it's a roguelike, you have to, not that, I want the combiner. Uh, you gotta upgrade and Oh, I need stone. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. So there is going to be a little bit of a grind to this game, doing the same level a couple times. And it's not even really the same level. Um, for each area, so like for this map style, there's a couple different actual maps. So it's not always going to be the same exact tower structure every time. Um, so like this part of the map is not going to be always the same. So uh, you are going to have a little bit of variation there. I got to get a, I got to get a miner going. How much stone do I need? I need five. So we're good. Uh, so let's set up the miner. Let's set up the miner over here. And then we can go ahead and build our conveyor belt going into the combiner. So you only have three places where you can import uh, raw materials on the castle. And the fourth is where your enemies are going to go. So that's why we need to use combiners so that uh, we can get combining. Um, so I'm going to need to start building towers fairly soon. That's one thing I found is that these two towers that you get at the beginning uh, aren't enough, aren't fully enough to get the job done. Um, so we are going to need to build some more towers. Um, so up in the top right, you'll see that there is a timer. So enemies uh, naturally just come through all the time. But when that timer hits, you're going to hit a wave of enemies. Um, so you want to make sure that your defenses are good because the waves are a lot harder than just kind of waiting around for enemies. Let's set up another uh, woodcutter over here where we can get a whole bunch of trees all at the same time. Uh, so what is our goal with this game? Because this is not like your typical tower defense where you have a set number of waves that you need to defend from. Instead, there's a little bit of like, uh, I don't want to say like Starcraft, but we are going towards the enemy's base. So over time, we're going to be gathering resources. Uh, that's kind of the city builder aspect that you've been seeing. Um, I need to find, well, I guess I can just put another... I can put another miner here. So let's do this. I'm going to end up putting a combiner here. And then let's build our conveyor belt here. So now we have two stone miners going. Um, so basically, we have these bonfires. And I'm actually going to build one of these right now. So we're going to place bonfires. And the bonfires are going to unlock more of the map. Not only to unlock more spaces that we can build on, um, but also we're eventually going to find our way to the enemy's fortress, their own little base. Um, and you can see that there's some little stuff there. Once we unlock that, I'll show you what that is. Um, 
so basically there's two goals. The first goal is to find your enemy's base. So we're going to be following this path down. That's going to allow us to put down more towers, set up more defenses, and I can now set up a ballista. No, I can't. That's right, because I need planks. Uh, so for planks, let's go ahead and set up this. Uh, nope, I need a yeah, sawmill. So sawmills, which I can put right on the track, but in order to do that, I need to sell two of these. So any kind of conveyor belt, you can kind of just replace. So like if I wanted to com put a combiner here, I could just place it. But to put down another building or, you know, building type, you actually have to delete uh, the conveyor belt. So like right now we're in our first wave and I am going to create another tower here. Probably put it, uh, I'll put it right here. Um, so you can see there's a lot more enemies. Like I have a feeling that uh, a couple of these are going to get through. Maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, can you take them out? Uh, nope. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of damage. That's fine. Looks like we're probably we're going to be taking three damage. Um, if you want, you can set tower priorities. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, you know, health up, armor up, shield up. Uh, what has the most of these defenses? What or what has the least of these defenses? What has the most? fastest, uh, slowest, all that kind of stuff. So you can set all your priorities there. Um, let's see, we have that going. I'm gonna set up, I need a lot more planks. So let's go ahead and set up woodcutter here. We're going to set up another sawmill there. And then let's set up our conveyor belt to go right in there. Um, Right, so we were talking goals. So our first goal is to find our way to the enemy's fortress. The other goal is, I think, what's right over here. Um, so around the map, there are going to be shrines. And the shrines uh, have a thing. I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's. I think it's called the light crystal. And you need the light crystal to destroy your enemy's fortress. Um, we almost have enough planks here. Um, so once you're able to do that, well, once you get the light crystal, then you can destroy your enemy's, uh, enemy's fortress. Kill it. There we go. We need three more planks. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. Then we can get a ballista. There we go. Okay. Let's set up the ballista. So ballistas are slow. I'm going to set up the ballista up here, though, because I want this targeting, um... I want this targeting enemies with the highest armor. There we go. So armor is the yellow bar, which of course I missed because I, I was too late. Um, so we're gonna let, yeah, there's gonna be another couple enemies. I gotta set up more towers. We're, we're leaking too much. Uh, actually, we, we very well might just be dead here. Hang on. We, we, I think we're, yeah, 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 we're just dead. Okay, so we're restarting. Um, yeah, so you can see, like, you, there, you, there's a, a fine line between, um, you know, how much you need to spend, because all your resources are utilized between both the city building aspect and the tower defense aspect. So if you thought balancing um, just tower defense building was tough, try doing both at the same time. So I think I'm going to build the problem. Okay, so the first upgrade I did after I played for the first time. Oh, I actually know exactly what I'm going to do. First upgrade that I did the first time um, was this one right here, which increases the base damage of our towers by two. To, uh, normally they do six damage. Now they do eight. Um, I don't want to do spikes because spikes use these, uh, well, spikes um, or pikes, I think they might be called. I don't remember. Um, they're a little bit harder to make, um, and so typically I want to save them for use with the catapult. Um, I think I'm going to end up doing this though. Start the game with 50 wood and 25 stone. That's going to be a big help so that way we don't have to waste a bunch of time, uh, clicking. So you can see here, there's going to be different, like, levels, styles. So, like, Stony Grove is a world, basically, and likely you're going to see a different map here when we play it the second time. Yeah, so you can see it's a little bit different. Um, so what do we want to do? So let's set up. This is going to be the best place for wood. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see, can I get three? There we go. 
So let's set that up, get our conveyor belt going, get the wood going. Um, we're going to set up another chopper here. And I'm actually going to set this one like over here. Because eventually what happens is these resources run out. Let's see, let's put that there. Um, so you can see that they, they have health. So eventually they run out and we will have to change where they are placed. Now the good thing, not enough resources anymore. I need more wood. Okay, let's help out. So the good thing is that you don't have to destroy your gatherers. Uh, you can just move them after they've been placed. So that is a very good thing. Um, we need a lot more wood, so let's get more wood. Uh, it really relieves a lot of the stress in thinking that you're not going to have enough resources. Especially when you need to use your resources for both your... Uh, you know, your your city building and your towers. Um, one thing I did mention in the last video, and I actually submitted it as, as feedback, because after you play, I think like after you maybe quit your game the first time, um, there's a survey and I did send it to the devs that uh, you just can't, you can't spin anything. Like, let's see, let's pull this up. Uh, can, as far as I can tell, you can only uh, spin things in one direction. I haven't been able to find another way to spin things. It's only, it's a small, small thing. Um, what were my other, other things that I was looking at? I don't know. They'll, they'll come to me as I play. Okay. Uh, let's sit down some more towers. I need 15 more wood. Let's get that really quickly. Um, things can get very hectic because, because they have the, the like clicker system as well. You always feel like you need to be doing something. You can't just sit and observe. So it's not like a, a typical city builder where you can kind of just like wait for your resources to gather because you also need to be building towers. And if you're not building towers, you might as well be clicking on something so that way you're helping gather resources. Um, so now that we're doing that, let's set up, we're going to set up another chopper, but this one, let's see, I'm going to set back here because uh, we can use a bonfire to unlock that tree if we want. So let's set up a sawmill here because we need to start getting planks. Um, let's see. Okay. We're doing pretty good on defense. Um, let's see. So I can put a ballista down here. So we're good. So I'm going to set up a, a bonfire back here uh, when I have enough wood, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's kind of a waste of resources early. Let's set up another um, another way. We need more planks. So let's set that back here. Another sawmill. We're going to need a combiner. Almost there. Let's get a little bit more wood. There we go. Now we can set up a combiner. And then we set up our conveyor belt get up there okay so now we have two sources so we have two sources of logs we have two sources of stone uh two sources of planks um i need to get planks fairly quickly because once the crabs start coming with shield things start getting very difficult for our towers to keep up and so i need to make sure that uh we can keep up so i'm just going to kind of keep chopping here <laughs> um because i need to build some towers uh fairly soon because we have a whole 30 seconds before the wave comes up. Um, so let's build another tower and I'm going to, let's see. Yeah, that way it can attack even to that last square. Okay, we almost have enough for a ballista. One more. Okay, so now we can build our ballista and I think this is like putting it around here is going to give us the most range eventually because we'll eventually we're going to unlock more um more range this way which i guess we might as well do 
Um, because in doing so, let's unlock this way. Uh, in doing so, our ballista will be able to attack earlier. So we have a chest. Nice. So you can also find chests. So that, that gives us a bunch of resources. Um, we need more planks. So I think the next thing I'm going to build is not a catapult. Let's start uh, unlocking the map this way a bit. Which is going to give us access to more resources. And we still need to find the shrines. Okay, let's see. So what should our, our next project be? We're doing okay here. Maybe we want to start building back a little bit more. Um, I'm going to set up... Let's see. So let's set up back here. We're going to set up another sawmill. Let's start building up this way. And you can just change the direction of conveyor belts. That's perfectly fine. Ooh, but we still need that there. Uh, you just need to get out of build mode. So we can set that up for wooden stakes because we need those. Um, so there's two modes. I didn't really mention this. If you're in grid, you're in building mode. So you can't actually click on anything. That's just for, for building. Take that off. That's when you can start auto-clicking. Um, that's when you can change what your sawmills make. Um, so like right now, I'm actually going to switch one of these over to stakes um, because I want to start making catapults. Catapults are very good for AoE um, because now I can build another ballista. Yeah, let's set that up there. We can set this one also to highest armor. Um, and we're also going to open up the path a little bit. So let's set another bonfire. Start opening up. Oh, okay. I want to unlock this. Uh, so let's put another one. That's the best place. Okay. So with this shrine, there we go. Okay. So these shrines, if you, well, like it says, provides extra damage to tiles, to towers placed on its tiles. And so what I did last time was I put the bonfire like right here. But if you want to put a larger tower, like the Ballista, it's you, it's going to take up one of the spaces and you'd have to put it back farther. So uh, I put it over here knowing that I'm, I might put a tower like right in these spaces. Um, and so let's put, uh, I'm going to put a regular tower right here. So that way we get a little bit more damage coming out of it. And we're doing okay. We haven't lost any health this time. Um, we're doing decent on stakes. We do need a little bit more for our first catapult. Uh, and the catapult I'm going to put on here, which is going to be really nice. Uh, that should help us take out some bigger bigger chunks of enemies. Uh, let's see. I am going to start building farther back, though, because pretty soon... Let's see. How are our trees doing? Our trees are doing okay, actually. This side is getting a little low, though. Because how far can these reach? Yeah, that one can't reach there. Okay, so I'm going to have to start building back a little bit. Stone is still still super fine. Uh, okay, so how much more? Okay, I got plenty. I also have to. We also have to consider that um, bonfires use light, and light is generated from uh, killing enemies. Uh, okay, so we have enough for our catapult. And I believe we have enough for a catapult. No, I need a ton of planks. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Which one did I have? I had these two. So let's switch this one back over to planks. Because we're good on stakes. I don't. I have found in the, the last session that I played that you don't... I didn't need a ton of catapults early on. One was pretty good and could take out most of these smaller mushrooms. And really, like, these early runs, something I realized after several runs that I already played, um, the the goal of this is not necessarily to try and win on the first try, because you likely won't. I mean, of course you can. Um, but remember, it, it, this is a roguelike, so that's like the, the fourth style of game. This game blends so many different styles all into one. Uh, so the roguelike aspect, you're going to need to grind for the golden coins. And I'm assuming it's based on the farther you get or the more waves you get through. Maybe it's for each wave that you defeat, you get more coins. Um, oh, how are we doing here? 
Uh, we're okay. We're good. We can now make a catapult. Sweet. And the area is massive. Yeah. So this thing, but it's very slow. Attacks are very slow. It's like what every yeah every fifteen seconds. Um. So here we have our our next wave. I have not beaten wave three, so that'll be interesting to see if we do beat wave three. If we get three gold coins, so basically your goal is to get the coins because the coins will allow you to uh, upgrade different aspects and make it easier for you to progress. Um, let's see. Let's get a let's get another tower going maybe. Uh, that one just can't hit a lot, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to hold out and just hope and just hope that we can pass this wave. Yeah, that was nice. That took out a whole bunch of them. But we we might we might be in a tough situation. I'm going to build another tower here. Let's see how are we doing? We're doing okay. Yeah, that cat catapult is so good. Catapult is just overpowered. Uh, <laughs> at least early. Okay, so let's put uh, another bonfire here. Let's open up more of the map. So there's not really a lot going on up here. Um, okay, let's start gathering some more more materials. We can start making more. So let's go ahead and build all the way back here. Because we basically, we can build as many combiners as we want. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll put a combiner right here which we can build into we're then going to build uh another sawmill which this one and oh i have this pointed the wrong way which you know no big deal just pick it up turn it around um let's go ahead and have this going up here go around up and over boom okay now we have another sawmill going um this one is going to be on stakes because we're going to start needing those so we have two Two on planks, two on stakes. That's perfectly fine. Um, I guess we probably want a third on stakes because stakes are a lot slower. Um, yeah, and see, we're they're starting to get through. Um, but I would like to get another catapult. That would be super helpful because the catapults are really good. Uh, we might just be dead here. Yeah, this is this is where I where I lost. Uh, yeah, third third wave is really tough. Uh, yeah, we're just we're super dead. Um, yeah, the the third the third wave is, is really tough. Uh, that's that's what I found in my first couple tries too. So we should be getting two. Yeah, we get two gold coins, which means um, maybe later. Um, I actually already did that. <laughs> um, so we should have two. Yeah, we have two gold coins. So basically, I would continue going. So like, I don't know what the power crystal is. I, I maybe we should go. We should give that a shot. Okay, let's play again, um, and let's go for the power crystal. Because maybe maybe the power crystal does like chain attacks. Because we don't have anything like that currently. So I'm guessing that might be what it is. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get this going. Turn up, go that way. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's get another another chopper going. We'll just put a combiner right here, which I don't have enough for. So let's chop some trees. It just cost 10, right? Okay, we got that going. We only have one... St uh, second stone but it's way out here uh but nice to know that if we want to just power our way through we have the shrine already right here so this might be a decent run to just um oh i need more more wood if i want to just power out bonfires because re realistically in this game you do not need that that's the difference between this and a a typical tower defense you're not trying to stave off a set amount of waves you're just trying to make it to your enemy's base so if the enemy fortress is close by you know we we could have a situation in this run where um oh, i still need more wood where we have a decent route to victory let's have combiner which i need more wood 
There we go. Combine. There we go. And two two stone I found is is decent for these for these early builds. Really, it's like I need to get more wood going. So uh, let's get another another chopper going. I need a lot more wood for that. So let's just get more more wood resources, which I still don't have enough of. There we go. I'm actually just going to build it. No, I need room. Let's see. So I need to make room for a mill. And we're going to build a combiner right here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that and then put the conveyor belt here. So now we can turn this there. Boom. Plenty more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably need one going into the castle, huh? That would that would help a lot. Okay, so I think next thing I will want to work on is I do want one more tower. Uh, there we go. One more tower to shoot. That'll help at least in this first wave. Um, so now I want to start building towards a ballista, which I'm going to need to beat those pesky crabs. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up over here our mill and we can build our combiner there we go that will start our planks and then we can get another one going over here i need three more wood two more wood one more wood done nice all right, right we need to sell that sell that get another sawmill nice okay so now we got enough uh we only have a minute so hopefully we can get enough planks to get a ballista going and also let's get a bonfire to open this up a little bit so that way, hopefully, this tower can attack a little bit further. And again, this might be the run that we're able to push things forward and maybe win. The tutorial, the, the pathway in the tutorial was pretty short. I don't know if that's representative. Yeah, see, I still need to beat a lot more. So, that, so you are, I guess you are kind of limited in terms of waves, how many waves you need to live through. Because, you know, enemies only give um, so much of their, whatever it is, light resource. Yeah. So I guess you are kind of limited by how, how many waves you need to survive through. Okay, we're going to build another tower because we're going to be short here in a second. One more plank. One more plank. There we go. Boom. Okay. Let's set this up. Um, you know what? I'm going to set it up here. For right now, it has a lot less range. But eventually, I'm going to be opening this up. Because I want to knock uh, armor off of enemies as soon as possible. So that way, these uh, weaker towers can take care of their actual health. Oh yeah, see we're taking we're taking some damage because now this tower can't reach back here. So okay, I'm surprised that other one didn't get taken care of. Okay, so I have enough, so let's go ahead and unlock that. How far back can we see? Oh, so it looks like it might wrap around here. So I'm actually going to put a bonfire down here. Which will unlock that, give us a little bit more damage. Uh, okay, we need to get some more resources incoming. So I'm going to step down here because we have a, some trees down here that we can eventually build into. Uh, got it right there. And this one, I'm going to switch over to start doing stakes. Stakes. 
Uh, let's see. Let's get uh, let's get another wood chopper back here. Get another sawmill, and this one we need another combiner, and then we need another conveyor belt. And this one is also going to be doing stakes, so that way we can start building up towards another catapult. Uh, can I build? Okay, so I'm going to start building here because I want to unlock. Yeah, I need to unlock more trees. Okay, so we're still letting the guys through. So I need to build another tower here closer to our base because otherwise we're going to be letting too many mushrooms through. Come on. Come on. Take out the crab. No, not enough. Uh, that might be it for this run. Son of a bee. Well, so much for that. <sighs> well, do we... Okay, we at least get one coin. So one coin will get us to the Power Crystal Tower. So let's go ahead and buy that. And let's check out what that does. Um, okay, so what does that end up doing? Deals continuous? Yeah, see, that's what I thought it was. Oh, okay, but this is, oh, this uses the uh, upgrade version of stone, so this is like a more, I don't even know if we'll have enough to build up to that. Okay, uh, wood chopper. Let's get to chopping some wood. Let's go ahead and build this here. I'm going to build another one over here and I'm going to try and plan this out a little bit better so that way we can maximize our resource so I got to get a bunch of wood here to build conveyor belts because I was using a bunch of materials uh, to build a bunch of combiners when I should probably be planning out where I'm going to be putting stuff um, just so that way I'm wasting as little resources as possible. There we go. Now we can build stone miner. I'm going to build them a little back just in case there's another stone back here. Just kind of trying to plan for the future a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to need another stone miner. Go ahead and get that going. We'll build him. Can't build him that far back, but we can do that. We can go ahead and build a uh, combiner up here. Build our conveyor belt. Okay, so we're good on stone. That's, oh, actually, if we're going to try one of the power towers, that's not going to be enough stone. Um, but I am desperately going to need more wood. Uh, so we have quite a few trees. So let's go ahead and build a chopper over here. Uh, we'll get that. I'm also going to build one. We can draw from back here, but not enough resources. So let's go ahead and start chopping some trees. Get up to 20. There we go. Put down uh, this tower that can get from four. Going to build over like so. One more. Up like this. And then this one, we can build straight up. We will build a combiner. Actually, this was probably a poor build because... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's get this. Let's get this fixed. There we go. Um, because now I can't really put... Well, I guess we do need a regular wood source. So I guess that's fine. Uh, I need to start building for another tower here. Or another cannon, I should say. Uh, let's put this here. We were having some issues finishing them off at the end. So let's have that go. Uh, I'm going to start... i got to start building... A sawmill. That's right. i got to get rid of this. Then we can build a sawmill. Because i got to start getting planks going. So that's one. We can build another one over here. But I need 30 more wood. Let's get that going. Okay, 
Uh, so I'm going to need to get rid of these, put the sawmill. There we go. That's on planks, so we're good. So we have, what, two sources of regular wood, two sources of planks, two sources of stone. Um, let's see, what do we need next? Let's build... Okay, let's go ahead and we have a pretty good X point here. So I'm going to, that can get that third tree. So let's do that. I need four more wood. I want another source of planks. Uh, oh, but I'm going to need, okay, so I need another combiner here. There we go. Actually, are there any trees? This tree is not being worked on. So let's let's pull from that so that way uh, we can maximize how much our choppers actually can pull in on their own. Okay, we've got enough, almost enough planks for ballista. I'm just going to keep getting a little bit more wood here until we have enough planks. There we go. Okay, so let's build up our ballista again. This may have been a poor decision last time. No, I'm going to put it... Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. And then let's have it prioritize. Again, prioritize highest armor. Because I need you taking out armor. Okay. Can I build... I can... I can do that. Let's open up a little bit more pathway. Uh, Should have built it over there. Then I could have gotten the chest. Feels bad. Okay. Let's see. Now, if I want to build that tower, I oh, man, I really need like another source of rock. I mean, we got this way back here. We even have this rock. Okay, let's start building into this. So we're gonna build a stone miner over here that can access those two. We're going to build a stone mason, which I haven't done yet. I have not needed to build a stone mason yet. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Um, no, nope, I keep doing that. There we go. So, oh, Jesus. Okay, I just realized that this tower is going to need both stone bricks. It, this needs everything. <sighs> it's good, but it's so expensive. I don't know if I'm even going to make my way to build that. Okay, well, let, let's at least try. Let's see if we can make it that long. Uh, so far, not looking so good. Okay, let's... I need to get some more towers going. And I don't have any... I don't have any stakes going, so I don't have catapults coming through. Okay, but I can build this tower here. Which will do some more damage. Oh, good lord. I need more. I need more towers, so I need more wood. Okay. Come on, cannons. Come on, cannons. Do what you're there to do. Get it. Okay, good. Um, Good lord. Come on. Kill things. Kill things. Well, I think that's it. Because these three... At least two of them. Maybe? That one goes down. That one goes down. Oh, God damn it. Nope. Okay. We're done. Oh, man. Guys, this is a tough game. Uh, if, oh, man. It just feels like the towers don't do enough damage, even after upgrading them. So, yeah. I feel like I would have to build up a lot in order to get this upgrade. Otherwise... Increasing the tower health by three is, like, decent. Um, what else do we have? So we have increased max tower. That doesn't feel like it's that important to actually upgrade. Light essence, eh, not, not a necessity. I don't know what the beacon does, but it looks like it would use the same material or similar material as the power crystal, maybe. Um, but either way, I'm assuming it's just a bigger bonfire. Eh, which is not like, I guess, exactly what we need. Um, that boost of resources might be pretty good to go for next, actually, maybe. 
Although maybe it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's tough to say, but I, I have a feeling that I won't be making much further progress without grinding some more. And uh, at this point, I'm assuming you guys have gotten the gist of what the game is like, um, you know, until we get some more upgrades. Um, so I might do that. I might end up grinding a little bit and then coming back for a second episode when I get a few more upgrades. Because um, otherwise, like that, that is the main game loop of the game so far. I'm assuming eventually there will be more towers. Right now, there are only the the five or so. I haven't tried the, the spikes because, um, like I said, they're probably pretty expensive. I don't know how good they are. Maybe we'll get that. I don't know. It'll take a, quite a few more runs to get a couple things that I, I want to try out. Um, so, yeah, that is Tower Factory. Guys, if you like the video, if you like the game, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more gaming content. Um, and let me know down below in the comment, what did you think of the game? Did you, is it enough to get you to try the demo or, you know, keep track of it to buy once it comes out? I think, uh, what are they shooting for? I think they're shooting for a November release date, um, November of 2024. So only a couple months away. I really like what I see. The low poly look is stunning. Love the look of this game. Um, controls all feel great. There's really the only control, I guess the control issue that I did have is that there's nowhere, even in the settings, um, there's nowhere to see keybinds at all. So I don't actually know there might be commands that I didn't even know I needed that I just don't know where they're located. Um, but I mean, overall, I mean, my complaints are pretty small. The, the first level does seem challenging. I'm guessing that is intended. Uh, right because we have we have more of these worlds um but uh yeah I, i'm gonna just like keep going on we'll talk about that more in the next next episode uh if i come back to play it which i probably will um i already said all the youtube th stuff so that's all i got for today guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time